Thank you for having it. This is a completely new build, essentially, but keeping the skin. Like, what is actually new? What's old? So everything's new, apart from the brickwork. So all of the fretwork's new. The original bay windows, but we actually put in new stained glass, which is to match the front door. So yeah, everything's new apart from the brickwork. Although it's been, it's all been retuck pointed, so it looks new. And how big are we talking here? What's the actual size of the house? Well, yes, so the, house and land. So then. the land's about 620 and the house is about 250. And this is your family home? So I grew up here. That's in, so, and you obviously designed the renovation. Yeah. So How is that going? What am I going to do to my family home? <laughs> well, I was allowed to do whatever I wanted to do. Free reign. Sort of free reign. <laughs> Within a budget. Was that hard? Uh, like was yeah, it a, really. a challenge to kind of sort of demolish your family to, home? <laughs> it was, well, the, it had been rented out for 30 years. Right, okay. 25, 30 years. And it was in a pretty bad state too. Right, okay. So all of the neighbours actually wanted it knocked down. Really? Yeah, so we had to, there was a long planning process. Um, How long did it take to go through? about two and a half, three years, yeah, three planning. Two and a half, three years. That is a long time through council. It was hard to get the neighbours over line. That's interesting. So we, what were what were the main concerns then, I guess? So oh, it was mainly because it was a subdivision with the other house. Right. But this one, they wanted it pulled down because they thought it was in such bad, such a bad state. You're joking. They wanted it, they wanted it gone. It looks, like immaculate now i can't yeah, I, I can't even so imagine that people would have like championed and championed for it to have it be pulled down and because it's on a corner i think it kind of it's important to keep the beautiful sites especially on corners because it creates that whole character of the, of these both of the streets absolutely and also did you have a low fence before no it actually had a, a high fence so when i grew up here it actually had a massive hedge oh right that was burnt down by the Melbourne hedge burner in what? the early 90s. We were talking about this the other day. I think it was Carey Boys. There yeah. was a Melbourne, <coughs> was a Melbourne hedge, hedge burner. burner. Yeah, they did like around Q and Q. Bowen. So they torched, they torched this. So that one night they <laughs> torched one all of these houses oh in Melbourne God. and Hawthorne and... You're joking. Yeah, and this mm. one. So it used to have this massive hedge. Oh my God. Oh, so you're starting again. So we're starting again. God, it's so light. It's insanely bright as soon as you walk in. Gosh, that light's spectacular. Yeah, the lights, the lights are really nice. We get lots of compliments on the lights. Where is that from? Just from about space. That is beautiful. Gosh, it's very calm and peaceful in here, isn't it? This is an original room. This was a, uh, a lounge room. Okay. Um, but it's all new joinery, new fireplace. In fact, this is the only room with the original um, corner sink oh, and ceiling. Right. So we didn't touch this ceiling. The joinery is beautiful. You've done a lovely soft grey. It's quite um, it's quite warm though. Like it's got a nice tone to it. The fireplace looks good, especially with the um, tiles as well. Yeah. So the the hearth's all new, but the um, and the mantle's actually new as well but the fireplace is existing and we just gave it a coat. Oh, you're joking, that's existing. So that oh, was you gave it a... we gave it a coat of matte black paint. Yeah, right. That looks really, really good. Yeah, they come up quite nicely. Where did you, did you build your mantle? Like, did you get that done or did you get, did you buy that from somewhere and get it fitted? The builders actually just knocked it up. Did they? They didn't ask for it. The builders just- Who was the builder? Did it one day, it was second. Wow. But they did a great job, I think. I really yeah. Liked it. living zones and I quite like it because you can actually see straight through the house so north facing that's north facing this is east this gets really nice morning light yeah it's a beautiful um, amount of light so you would have then had to have what replicated the cornices so all of the the roses and the cornicing so we we match the, the original cornice with new cornice it's Gosh, called Victorian gutter phenomenal we matched all the roses wow 
I love that attention to detail because a lot of people would have just kind of brushed over it, maybe just gone, oh, it's going to go a modern box inside. But yeah, that. <laughs> we needed to be true to the house, especially these original rooms because they've, they've got really high ceilings. So we did like a high skirt. The skirt actually looks really powerful. It kind of just extends everything. It's very dramatic. Yeah. This actually used to be two rooms. So it used to be a playroom and a study. Yeah. And we combined the two together. It actually used to have dark fairy burgundy wallpaper. <laughs> of course it did. On it. <laughs> um, but it's the original fireplace, which we've yeah. just painted. And then all the joinery is new, the panelling, everything else is new. And we did a, um, a square set, so no corners here. Just because it does change the feeling a lot, yeah, but it still feeling. very much matches. You've got yeah, like it's, it's very got consistent. a lower ceiling, so we thought that Victoria Gutter corners might be, be might be a bit heavy for it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this table is epic. Well, where is this from? This is from Bloodworks. This is so good. It does fit ten. Hey, um, what? Have you had a full table of 10 here? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> when we can. Hopefully so. You will. Uh, and I love that. So you've got a very like, you've gone soft neutrals. Soft neutrals, yes. A lot of pastels. Pastel-y, I like pastels. That's what you were drawn to. And did you like, how, how did you actually approach the colour palette? Did you just sort of know straight away what you kind of... Well, because because of the lead lights, they have, they've got quite a lot of green in them. So that's why all of the, the pendants and the wall lights have a bit of green to them yeah. as well, just to, because there was that green already there. Yeah. Um, didn't want to go green for the kitchen, but I wanted a colour. Thought white might have been too stark for the house, yeah. so it's all going grey. And that goes through to a laundry? Yeah, so laundry and small little powder out the back. Gosh, it does get such a nice amount of light. It is really nice because it's, it's dual aspect. All of the living spaces have two aspects of light. This is Isabella's room. Oh my goodness, she is lucky. Gosh, this is a good size. Great size bedrooms. Very clean room. Did mum help? Oh, Did mum help clean? <laughs> Oh, it's, oh wow. This is this a different shade to what no, was going on in the kitchen? Yeah, the it looks completely different. It, it looks really um warm and there's like some really earthy, rusty tones. Yeah, I mean because it's natural, there there will be a bit of variance. Oh, that's um, beautiful. Yeah, it's oh one of my favourite stones. So this is the main bathroom. This is the main bathroom. This is a really good size. The bath is incredible. Did you do this because of parenting? Because yeah, I feel like this is actually fun. very practical. And it's like easy watch clean. a child. It's easy to clean because there's no lid. So oh it's got a stone top. That's what it is. I was like, what am I, what is it? It's so flush. Yeah, it's flush. Yeah. Gosh, so we really actually good. did everything so that you could just easily clean it. Just one wipe and you're done. Love that maintenance. This used to be my room. Really? Yeah. Oh, but that kind of like, Weird. Like you know, I your used to be able to climb up into that manhole. <laughs> is there any way to get up to the roof, or is that it? That's it. That's it. I don't know how I used to get up there. That's the same as us. Actually, we've got a small little manhole. Do you actually use the roof, ending up in the roof, or anything? No. When we when we did it, we we're considering doing a like a, a, a proper study and things. Like yeah. That. The roof space is actually huge. Yeah. Right. But um, well, it would be. We might do that. Later on. Is it good condition? <laughs> like, yeah, it's in, it's in pretty good oh, condition. That's all right. So we had to put a new roof on. Uh, so basically, right. when they when the builders demolished the inside, yeah, you could really see what the roof was like from inside, and there were just bits of daylight poking through everywhere. What's on your roof? Uh, it's terracotta. It's tiles. terracotta. But when they wow. tried to patch them, all of the tiles broke. Did they just crumble? They, were, they all crumbled because they were a hundred years old. Wow. So we just did it and just put a new roof on. Wow. But you did terracotta again. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got slate tiles where we're pretty sure if anyone goes up there, they're just going to disintegrate. Yeah. <laughs> so, it looks like someone's been up there with a shotgun. There's so yeah. many holes, there's holes yeah. everywhere. We real, I really didn't want to replace a roof because I really liked the mossy look mm. and the old 
that you know how it gets that yeah nice it just gets it. weathered and it's weathered the i really like that yeah but it was you, we just couldn't save it it was but because you did all that brickwork though it kind of would almost could potentially be at odds yeah with, that's like true. the new brickwork so this is master suite this is master all right take us in after you what did this used to be this sort of front room so this, this used to be one massive room Right, it is huge because this cupboard goes all the way through there. The cupboards used to actually be along this wall. Oh, right. And so we put in all those cupboards and those cupboards. Gosh, it's such a big space. Yeah, it, it used to be. It almost <laughs> this used, used to be big. one big room. Yeah. Well, so are these, just, oh, hang on, are these double sided then? Like yeah, what's on the other side, side of this? this is, I'm well, looking into your cupboards, sorry. Oh, all right, good deep size. Cupboards. I'm just having a look. The shelves of death, why? Yeah, the shelves of death. Is it just because you just shove it in and hope for the best when you open yeah, it? it was. But I know where everything is. Well, that's fantastic. Gosh, that would have been a massive room. And then through here. So this is an add-on. So oh, right. this is the oh, this uh, is nice. This is the original brick wall. Oh, is it? So, so this is where you stopped and then you put this off. Yeah, and we added on the shower. So the shower oh, you're pretty, you're like on the boundary right here. You're, you're pretty right much pushed right out. Yeah. That is a really good shower. I do love that shower. Again, it's very, no glass. No glass. Easy, easy to clean. clean. Look at you. Low maintenance gout. Low maintenance. <laughs> None why. What's um, the trick to bringing modern elements into a period of time? Well, put too much into it. Don't go so too don't overboard. Go overboard. So it's like, what can keeping a really consistent, simple minimal materials color. and color. Yeah. I like that. I also wanted to do a simple colour palette just because I get sick of stuff quickly. I didn't want to get sick, be sick of the colour palette in two years' time. Yeah, that's very true. So and then you can add to it as layers and your decor. Exactly. That's where you get to have fun. Yeah. What has your family said about this, considering they this was it. a family home? They absolutely love it. Where they're like, why didn't we grow up in this house? <laughs> I think mum and dad want to move back. <laughs> what I actually quite like is that you're... You've got two semi hallways almost. Yeah, like yeah. you've actually got this sort of more. This is probably your one that you would use most, but this is your bedroom access. So, so it kind of makes that the private area. Yeah, this is sort of the private bit. Yeah. And it's quite good because if you're watching TV or, or if you've got friends over, you can just shut off the doors. Yeah. So the kids. So you've essentially kind of separated in two separate wings, which I like. What's your favourite part of the house? What's your favourite room? Well, I like, I, I really like it how you can see through it. So this is probably my favourite. This room? Yeah, but I really like it how you can see through. It makes me feel really good being able to see everything. Did you come across something that you just did not anticipate and you're just like, oh my God. We actually had to replace all of the subfloor. So wow. what happened was when they started pulling off the old, it had Baltic pine floorboards. Yeah. Which were in terrible condition. Yeah. They pulled them all up and they actually realised that the, there was no subfloor ventilation. So it meant that the bricks, the original bricks had actually started to decompose because there was no, there was too much moisture under the floor. Right, okay. So we had to... That's a big job. So the whole floor throughout the whole original house came out, all of the footings. Right. And so, that, I mean, it added quite a lot of cost, but... How much did that add to your cost? Do you mind if I... <laughs> it added about 100000 Wow. Maybe 80 to 100. That's a big cost for not anticipating that one. Yeah, so that was a big cost, but... Had you kind of buffered, did you think going into this, because it was such an old home, that you would come across something like yes. that at some point? Yeah. So it was okay. And to be honest, actually replacing things like that now means it'll last yeah. another hundred years. Yeah, exactly. So we've done it. The goal was to do it properly. Yeah. We could have probably left it. Yeah. And just cut in new uh, ventilation holes. But and then you go to all this effort. We don't want to do this again. It'll last well until we're gone. Is there okay. anything that you would have done differently? I probably wouldn't. My husband wanted that TV there. <laughs> <laughs> husband got say on TV husband placement. Just, just if that's it. the only thing that you would have done differently, you've probably done all right, um, I reckon. Mm. So eight months. Yeah, eight months. To construct. Um, that's everything. Like That's literally from go to like walking in and spending the night. Eight months. Yeah, including landscaping. That's incredible. Um, Did yeah. you go? So you went over budget by 100? The two big things that were unforeseen were the, was the subfloor and the roof that needed to be replaced. Yeah. 
but they were sort of expected. They weren't completely out of the blue. Yeah. So there were actually no other variations for the whole project apart from floor and roof. That's amazing. But they were reasonably big yeah. items. Yeah. And now this is home. Now this is home. Thank you so much for showing me around. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Coming.